Good morning. The old fisherman back with you again. And late Monticello. Hey, I think we done found some perch. Of course, you know I've said that before. But I think we own some perch right here in Lake Monticello. And we're going to try to catch them. The old fisherman is doing it again. Today he's doing it with a double rig, a green jig. And we've got a little hook on the, we got a double hook on our bottom jig. And I'm thinking, hey, that double hook might work. And we got one right now. As we speak, and they're eating it up. I'm, oh, Lord, one just got off. Hope it didn't break off. My goodness. Hope it didn't break off. We got a nice one on here now. Broke off. Show us the world. Tall gone people. Broke off short as the world already this morning. And they here. Hey, they here. And we got a broke off jig. Huh? You got to hate that. Huh? What did I do this morning? Time, jig on that. Dog gone. I tell you what, I'm on them. They're here. It won't take but a second. We're gonna retie another jig on here. We got a head right here. We're gonna retie another jig. They out there. Hey, they out there, and we're gonna catch them. They out there, and uh, apparently, there's some good ones. I had two jumbo madam delight, and one of them broke off, so there must be some good ones. Bear with me. Gonna try to keep going here right quick. I'm gonna tie. I want to thank why I'm tying. I'm gonna thank uh, yesterday. Uh, Keith Smith bought uh, a couple t shirts, he was coming from Santee, and uh, and I met him and he bought me a couple, bought a couple t shirts. Fine fella, and uh, uh, from upstate South Carolina, and uh, it was nice meeting old Keith. I uh, caught a pile of catfish in Santee, uh, and uh, I really enjoyed meeting Keith. I met him up there at the Chapin exit yesterday. That's the reason I left here early to go meet him with some t-shirts. And a fine fella, Keith Smith. And uh, also I want to give thanks to uh, Shirley and Edward Thompson from North Carolina. When I went in yesterday at the ramp, uh, they were there and they rode all the way from North Carolina to see where the old fisherman catches his fish. And thanks to them for thinking that much of me to come in here and, uh, and, and, and look me up on Lake Monticello. Wonderful couple. My goodness, you can't get no better than them two. Uh, but they from uh, North Carolina and drove all the way to Jenkinsville, South Carolina to see, to see if they could see the old fisherman and uh and also to uh see the lake that they've been watching all my videos and they was just curious about the lake and uh thanks to them for that ride and that was a wonderful moment for the old fisherman and anytime my fans do something special like that i got to say something about it on the show and i'm telling you both of them o'keefe smith and uh edward thompson both of them made my day yesterday, people. Hey, and we got us another jig tied back on. I think we on some fish. I really do. I got that feeling. When I get that feeling, you know it usually happens. I swan it. I know what I'm seeing on the fish finder back up there. Unless they done gone. There were fish there, buddy. And I mean, they're ready to be plucked. And them look like jumbo magnum delights in about 37 foot of water. We gonna see if we can get on them again. I hope that one breaking off didn't run them away. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does, you never know. Hey, it don't look quite like it did. I don't know. Hey, but we gonna try. We gonna try, I'll tell you that right now. They were really, looked like they were getting on here. I threw out a buoy, one of them didn't want to go down. I got two buoys out there now. So I threw out another one when I, when I found the fish, and then I, I went, drifted back till I got the camera going now, I don't see them. Talk gone. I hope I didn't mess up by not throwing them immediately right back down. You know how that is for these fish. But there were some good ones there. That one broke off. I had two at a time, and they were good ones. I mean, they were jumbo D-lights. And uh, right now, I don't see them like I did. They were just a school on them. And they, I tell you, they, they move so fast. Sometimes it's hard to keep them under. Sometimes you got to get them. Hopefully, they'll come back. Hopefully. 
I hope I didn't mess up time. Them doggone jigs, though, while the fish were there, I should have picked up my single rod, what I should have done. But hey, maybe, maybe it won't come back and bite me. There's one, there's one. Maybe, boy, they good ones too, huh? Good ones. These are good ones. That, that, see, that eight pound test line ain't a hole is. I don't know what I got here. Got to be a large mouth. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, one just broke off. Another just broke off. So we can't use them for a time. No, we're going to just broke one off and just put on. Huh? What? I think it was a large mouth and a big magnet purse. We're going to have to go out. One rod at a time. I cannot do that tying again. This, this eight pound test ain't These fish are too big. I had two break off on film right there as we speak. I'm going to do one at a time. There's some big fish in here. There's some big fish in here. Not often do I have two to break off and two drops. My goodness, you seen it. They some good ones out here. I don't know. Maybe I ought to throw the three rig out. You know what happens every time I do that. I don't catch nothing. They hit. They out there. We have to use single rig because these are big perch. These are big perch. These ain't no babies here. We're going to do it single time because I ain't got time to tie nothing on right now as much as I want to. These are Jumbo Magnum D-Lights and we're going to have to, and they bite. We're going to have to put it to them. While they there, we ain't got time to do another time. No, don't I hate that fish. Man, do I hate that. I might have to put a three rig out there. They, there might be some real big ones in here. That other one, I had a bass in that perch on the same time. I can tell you that right now because it was big. So we had a bass on a perch and he broke off. That's what the bass do. And we have got a cloud under us. It's unbelievable. They under us now. I'm telling you, they there. We gonna kill them. We gonna kill them. I got a feeling. They hit it. They hit it. They hit it. I'm telling you, they hit it. I just got to get it down. That's a cloud under us. People, they everywhere. Oh my! <laughs> the fish finder is full at 36 foot, and it is fish everywhere. Oh my! Huh, I can't believe I ain't get there he goes. There he goes, there he goes, they down there. Mike, I wish you was here now, cause buddy, they down there. Huh, they down there. I just, I, if I had, I need to throw the three rig out. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm telling you, I got to do it. I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I'm messing up. I know I am people, y'all saying, don't do it, come around, you're messing up. Hey, they so many down there, it looks like one a time. And hey, I might catch me a doggone bass on the three rig. Huh? I might. If I can get it down there. My goodness, I can't even see how to unravel it. And I'm nervous. Hey, when I see fish like that on the fish finder, even the old fisherman gets nervous. Kind of like you're looking at a big buck and can't get a shot. I said that before. Hey, we drop it down. Watch, watch them break this off. <laughs> watch them break this off. We got to try it. My goodness. Hey, they kind of shaded away though. Now I don't see them. They was a school under me. My goodness sakes, a lot of people. Hey, good chance this phone though. If they'll bite this, good chance they'll bite that dog going off. Uh, a bass might come up and get that phone. They might not even bite it. Hey, I done seen it. I done seen it go either way. They might not even bite this dog on three rigs. I done seen it run them away. If it runs them away again, I swear I ain't never putting it out again. I said that before though. There's one. Here's a bite. Here's a bite. That's what we're looking for right there. Huh? That's what we're looking for right there. That's what we're looking for right there. There goes another, I think. I, don't, I ain't sure. It might just be a nice one. We got one. Hey. We got one. And he's a jumbo magnum D light, too. Hey. We got one. Let's throw it back out and see if we can get another. On oh, three rig. Three rig. Do it, three rig. We excited, people. The old fisherman's excited because he thinks he's fixing to catch some fish. I get excited when I think I'm fixing to hit him. I'm telling you, I get excited. And I think we fixing to hit them. We're about a 200 yards down farther than what me and Mike was yesterday. A wind blow me down and, and the fish ain't done a thing but move. It's all they done. There he is. Oh, Lord. I missed him. I missed him. He hit it. He hit it. I missed him. They there. I hate they broke my double rig off. Doggone, I like that double rig. I had it going on with this. I had a little trailer hook on that where I wasn't even missing. Oh, my. They hitting it, bumping it, but they ain't taking it. They ain't taking it. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Oh my, oh my. You've got to love it. No fisherman is catching them today and they've been eating it up. 
And I mean good ones. Huh? Quarter time. Good ones. Oh, late Monticello. We're going to get them today. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. got to keep them going. Keep them stirred up. People, you know what that stirred up means. That means fish. That's what that means. Stirred up means fish. We use it. You got, you got the loving jigs and the phone. That's all we use. you and they down there too 37 foot in the whole bottom whole bottom is covered in lake monticello and we my friend are gonna catch them we gonna catch them today on this lake i'm telling you the three rig is doing it the fish are biting got on up in the day they get skylighted got a little breeze the wind is blowing and we are got we probably got three at a time i know we got two Ain't no question we got two. Huh? Ain't no question we got two. They in a feed right now, people. Huh? They in a feed right now. Three at a time, Lake Monticello. This is what we love, people. This is what we love. Jumbo Magnum Delights, three at a time. You got to love it. Huh? They hadn't been hitting the three at a time, the uh, three rig, but they're hitting it today. And when they hitting the three rig, we can put the damage to them. We can put the damage to them, people. Huh? Three rig is going on, and we're going to catch them on the three rig right now until it breaks up off. That's what's going to probably happen. We're going to end up getting a large mouth any minute. I'm betting you, because usually where these perch are like this is large mouth laying. I promise you they are together, and it's a matter of time before I get a perch on there, and a large mouth is going to reach up and grab one of them. You've got to love it, Jig. I'm telling you, they bump it. They there, huh? They there. They are there and they are killing it, people. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They got the call, you they Right now, they, they're on a feed. How long they feed, I don't know. They might quit any second. You know how they do Uh-oh, they get a bite. That ain't good. That ain't good. I still see a few, but nothing like I did. My goodness, I did see a bunch of them. They taper it off. Get back on. And stay on. Oh, oh, he hit it. I missed it. He hit it. I missed it. And that ain't taken. Oh, gone. I don't see them. The suckers disappeared on me. They were there, too. Huh? They were there. My goodness, they were there. And I mean, big mother load of them was there. That's the lo mother load we've been looking for right there. But they gone right this second. They gone right this second. Got off of them. Oh, they got off from under me. One of the two. Doggone. Man, they were in there. My goodness, they were in there. They gone. They left that quick. They come that quick and they leave that quick. That's the way it is, my friend. It's the way it works. When you catching these perch on Lake Monticello, they gone. I don't even see them now. They were everywhere and now they gone. They gone. Tell it. They gone. Oh, gone. Upsets me so bad. I'm telling you, upsets me so bad. I don't see nothing. Nothing. They just left. Told. There's the opportunity for me to uh, tie them on the jig back. Dog oh, gone. I oh, where they went, I don't know. Maybe we get them back on. Maybe they come back through, that's all we can hope. They ain't here now. Man, that was one heck of a school of fish. The whole bottom was covered like 10 foot area. My goodness, they were thick. I don't know if they went down yonder that way, which which way they went, they tracked. What it is, they running after the shad. The shad left. What happened? Shad left. Shad leaves, the fish leave. That's the way it works. No, you know, if I had to go back to single rig, get them fired back up, but right now they ain't nothing. I don't see them. Don't see them. Oh my. Oh my. Huh. And y'all seen how they were there. My goodness. They were there. Huh. They were there. Now I can't get a bite. Can't get a bite. That's amazing. Plum amazing. Uh, plum amazing. See if I can stir them back up for single rig. When you got them really under you like that, that three rig works. When you don't, it don't work. So we got to get the single rig back out there for a second. See if we can catch them on that. We need to be tying that double rig back. I ain't got time for all that tying though. 
that and get it in back here. It's an old creek bed that runs out through here. It's what it is. It's a heck of a good place for largemouth too. I've caught a lot of them in it. It's a little abnormal to in, in where the old, old, old road used to be. It had ditches on each side, and, and that's where these fish were. That's where they just were, but they just left too. They just left just like they were there. They gone now. Now it's laying on them. What a time they stick with you more. Seems like to me. They stick with you more. Them was some good fish. When you get two of them to break off like that, that was a bite. Two of them to break off that quick. Them good fish. Them ain't babies. They, they hit them. They're coming back. I see a few coming back now. It's turning back up. It's turning back up. All we got to do is reel it up. And one on, there he was. It's stirring back up. They're right on us again. It's stirring back up. I don't know if the three ring run them off or what happened. They're stirring back up right now. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, my. Good one, too. Good one. Huh? Jumbo Magnum. Uh huh. Jumbo Magnum. You got to love it. Old fisherman catching Jumbo Magnums today. Only you got to love it. You got to love it. It's working just wonderful. We don't need gut shrimp. I told y'all that. All we need is you got to love it, Jim. All I need to do is get me a good mold and pour some and start putting them on my store. That's what I need to do. I'm telling you, you people have something to fish with there that'll last. I'm telling you, you got to love it, Jig Works. All you got to do is throw it down, reel it up, and hope one to take it. Drop it down when he don't. There's a few down there and they flare up and you catch them, and then they'll settle back down. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing today. You got to keep working them. And uh, I think that double rig is working real good, but it don't look like, like my line's big enough between it. Looks like if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have to put 10 between them. Uh, what it looks like, eight ain't big enough. Not for, not for good fish where you got black bass, a largemouth that might hit it. That's the problem. Them largemouth crush it. They'll break it. They will break it. Let me tell you, and they'll not even think twice of it. They'll break that 10 and 12 too, when you got more than one at a time. Every time I could have had two large mouths, that's why that other broke off. And they will bite when you get a perch on, so they're gonna bite the other one. That's the way, and then you got two good fish on, then they're gonna break off. That's what happens. That's what happens in Lake Monticello. Hey, we own them. My goodness, we own them. All I got to do is catch them. Huh? Dog gonna miss them. Now they gonna hit me missing again. They there, they ain't left. They just settled back down to the bottom. Come on, fish. They knocking it out my hand, people. Good fish. I know they're good fish. I've seen them. Aggravate. Aggravate when you go you go to hit and not catch it. Aggravate. There he is. Finally. Finally. That's a good one, too. Finally. Finally. Got it. Lake myself. Oh, my. Huh? That's a Jumbo Delight for sure. Huh? Look at that. Jumbo Delight. Monticello Magnum. You've got to love it. The old fisherman is using a white. You've got to love it jig. He's got a green one on the other one with a broke line on that second one. I hate to throw that line out, that rod out with the doggone line broke on one of them. So we're going to continue doing this one rod right now. Uh, until I get enough courage to put out that doggone triple rig again, catch three at a time. Drop it down, let it get to the bottom, and reel it up is all you got to do. If you reel it up, one normally will crush it. Stuff like that right there. Oh my, you got to love it. Huh? You, when they hit it, they knocking it. Yeah, they knocking it, and these are the kind of fish we looking for. This is what we looking for today. Oh, Lake Monticello, you got to love it. Oh my. I wish old Mike was here now. He'd be having him a wonderful time today. Mike, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I got to put this up, and you're going to wish you come back this morning to Lake Monticello because the old fish. Now, that's up today. Hey, I fished for a couple of hours. Ain't really done nothing. Them suckers are biting now, though. Hey, the sun's getting up. The wind's blowing. The sun is way up. The wind's blowing, and the fish is eating and slam up. People, you got to love it. The old fisherman is wired. Hey, he's wired today. I don't mind telling you, he is 
wine today. I love this lake. I hardly will ever go back to Lake Murray unless I got to again. I got to ride 40 miles versus two miles, one mile in, one mile back to the ramp in my house, but I'd rather ride 40 miles one way than to mess with that lake with the stupid rockfish laws that they got on Lake Monticello is where you need to be, not Lake Murray. Lake Murray, you got to go buy all them expensive herring, go out and catch five fish, you got to go home. That ain't fishing. That ain't fishing. You got people paying $400 for a two-hour two fishing trip to catch five fish. That, my friend, is ignorance. But them guides love it, let me tell you. I can be a guy making a lot more money doing it. I reckon I'm the dumb one. They making the money. I'm the one over here doing videos for nothing. So I guess I'm the dumb one. I ought not be calling somebody ignorant when they got, hey, a fat wallet. The old fisherman got a flat wallet. Fat and flat. Mine is flat. Theirs is fat. All because they are guys. And all because you got people out there that will pay that kind of money to go catch five fish. Oh, person. Hey, one person ain't supposed to catch the five. So you got you got to stop fishing when you get your five. You're supposed to. You ain't supposed to count where you got ten people in the boat. We can catch so many. Whoever's catching them, keep catching them. That ain't the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to catch your five, put your rod up, let the other people catch their five. And I bet you what? I bet they ain't doing that. And I bet you the guy that ain't fishing and he's getting his five counted with the other guys. So there you go. Hey, there you go. I don't know about all that, but yet if I go over there and throw a fish out, fish back to release him, they're going to charge me if I can release over five. Now you tell me, that ain't a stupid law. Hey, got me running away from Lake Murray. They don't care, though. I don't care either. I come over here. I come over here to the best lake without them darn stripers they put in there to eat everything up. Old fishermen's talking trash, but we catching a few perch, and let me tell you, there's some good ones down there if we could just catch them. I promise you there's some good ones down there. Just got to catch them. They, they'll settle back down. We done went through that initial hit, and that's what happens with these perch. You got to get them quick because they will quit. They ain't going to flare up for long. They will quit, and when they quit, it's over. Then you got to move down to find you another boat set of bites. That's what you got to do. Hey, they're hitting that thing and missing it again. I need that little trailer hook in this jig here, what I need. I wouldn't be missing them. I done that and it worked. So I got to do, I put a number four hook over the end of my other hook on my other rod there. And uh, and the number four hook was sitting right at the tip of that tail of that dog on, you got to love it, jig. And it, I was not missing them, now I'm missing them. I need to stop and put that dog on hook on this rig. What I need to do. It makes it look a little different, but they still were biting it. Didn't get one that time. They tapering down. They tapering down. For people, y'all seen the old fisherman. He was catching them. Huh? He was catching them. Today, on Lake Monticello, the, the film's getting long. We're going to have to regroup. And uh, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to show you how I put that hook on if I can. I don't know if I can, but it seemed to work. I'll give you a little trick I just figured out. Hey, I'm going to show you something that I just figured out. Bear with me. I'm going to come up in front of the camera. Hey, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to lower it down right here. We got a low crappy hook. And uh, of course, I'm gonna have to pinch the doggone ball down. Hold on a minute. Get my ducks in a row. You take this jig and you pinch that little ball down flat. Okay? You take a crappy hook, a number four crappy hook. I don't know if I can do this or not. I got to look up some way. I'm gonna lower this camera a little bit, hopefully. I'm gonna lower this camera. Hey, okay. We're gonna take a number four crappy hook. See this? 
I hope you can see it. A number four. And we're gonna go in right where that hook comes out. And we're gonna we're gonna uh, push it down toward the tail. I don't know if you can see me or not. But we're gonna push it down toward the tail. To the end of the tail. And we're gonna come out. Okay, see that? See it coming out? Now we're gonna bend this thing, we're gonna stick it on in. And we're going to bend this thing around, and then we take the eyelet over the end of that hook. If I can see. Okay, the eyelet went over that hook. And we might not have it mashed down good enough to pull it on down. And we don't. There it goes. It slides on by the eyelet. Now, it didn't come out real pretty there. But you can see what I'm doing. See that? You see that? We got two hooks in it now. We got one right at the tail. And that, my friend, might catch them doggone perch that I'm missing. But that's kind of what the old fisherman's doing. You'll see it right there. See that? Now we got a double hook. And and the eyelet is it's over the end of that hook. It's, that hook holds it. And it slid down where you can't see it. And it's at the tail of that hook, other hook. And that, my friend, is what we're doing. Is, but, uh, hey, we're catching some white perch. Be back with you for another video in a minute.